In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the county and zip application so we can later use it to bring in the county to the lead record that comes in from your website. So first thing we want to do is go to our add app, select create your own app, call it county and zip, and this will be a county or the item name. The app icon, you can select whatever you like. I'm just going to leave it as is. The style, create a table style. Now create app. Now we have to create the fields. In this, in this app, I'm going to create a county field. Zip, obviously. I'm also going to bring in the city and state. This is extra information that I could possibly use later on. I only work in one state, New Jersey, so I technically don't have to bring this field in, but for those who have multiple states, feel free to add this. You can also add extras if you'd like. Now let's make sure these all say single line. Okay, we're all set. We're done. Now we have no data in there, so the next thing we want to do is import data from the Excel file. And this Excel file is, uh, is available to you in this video tutorial. If you go up above this video, you'll see a link for downloading the county and zip Excel file. Let's go to settings, scroll down a bit, import Excel. Now we'll choose the Excel file, choose file, now in, the, in this import you have a maximum you can import of 20,000 records. If you try to import the entire worksheet or workbook for the areas you will get there's probably 54,000 different zip codes in the United States there might be more so you won't get them all so we I found the best way to do is break that file up into states since I only need New Jersey I'm gonna take the areas of New Jersey Excel file open it and import it now this is cranking, trying to pull the information from the Excel file, which rows and everything. So now we have to match up the Excel file columns to the app fields. And it's very easy to do. You just grab county, drag it over, grab zip, drag that over, city, and state. Hit next. Now this is saying that you can assign a, uh, a key field, which means that it's a unique value, so you don't add duplicate fields in the future. If, you want, if you're going to be importing more records from the same sheet. So we don't have to worry about that, because this is going to be a one-time only thing. Hit continue. Now here is where you'd pick the primary key field. It, it tries to guess and says county which is fine, although we don't want that because there's going to be the zip code is actually the primary key here because there's multiple zip codes. So this, each zip code only appears once in the Excel file, while county appears many times because there's multiple zip codes in the county. So don't use county or else you're not going to get, the import is not going to import all the records. We'll keep it at zip code. And now it shows that there's 753 zip code records in the Excel file for New Jersey. And we'll click Import Those. Now this does it in the background, so if you keep refreshing the screen, you'll see that more and more zip codes and records are being imported. This could take a while if you have thousands and thousands of records. I tried to do 20,000 and it took me roughly 
30 minutes to do. 700 doesn't take that long. Let's see how many we're at. Let's just re-click on county and zip. And it's showing we have 445 right now. So this shouldn't take very long at all. Let's check it again. 639, another couple seconds, and we should be all done. Yep, there we go. Gives me a notification saying all 753 rows have been imported, and we are good to go. Now that is how you create the county and zip app. It's basically used just for a lookup. You won't be having to create any kind of data entry fields or adding new records. So if you have any questions, please email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.